Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is uh, something a little bit different. Um, if you notice, I have my SEMA X5C and also have my Tarantula X6 here that, I, that I'm planning to fly today. But if you notice the transmitters of both of these, for the Tarantula, I have a WL Toys V222 transmitter that has been slightly modified. I'll talk about this in a second. And also my SEMA X5C transmitter has also been slightly modified. Now over the next few days, my wife and I are going to be doing a trip uh, up the coast of California here and over the Tembler Range and through the Carrizo Plain. Uh, the object being uh, we want to go see the coast and also we want to go see wildflowers. Uh, it's a spectacular year for wildflowers. But I want to take two quadcopters with me, two aerial video quadcopters with me, and that is going to be the Tarantula and my SEMA X5C. Um, both of these are my uh, video quadcopters of choice at the moment. <laughs> but for this, these flights that I'm going to be doing, for these wildflower flight, flights and coastal flights, I want a transmitter that gets excellent range. Now the transmitter that comes with the Tarantula um, gets a range out to about 300 meters, which is pretty darn good. But this also can fly with WL Toys transmitter, the V2X2 uh, versions of the transmitter like this one here and this transmitter in the past I had modified this to include a 5 dB antenna now with that 5 dB antenna and with this Wi-Fi reflector added to that 5 dB antenna I get ranges out past 400 500 maybe even 600 meters I have never been able to define what the actual maximum range is with this transmitter when I start pointing that reflector at that quadcopter I've flown as far as I could visually see my V262 quadcopter <laughs> and it still is going strong so I, I have no idea what the actual range is on this thing but it's excellent so I want to include this with this I want to see how it works how well it works with the tarantula and that's the objective of today's flight later on I'll be doing another video and another flight with the X5C with a similar modification to its transmitter uh, keep an eye out for that if it if I if it's successful, you'll see it. I'll upload it to YouTube. So let's go into a flight with a tarantula with a V2 X2 transmitter with its slight modification. I'll include links on how to do this modification uh, in the video info section below. Now, one thing before we go into the flight, <laughs> notice what I'm flying today. I got an 808 number 16 keychain camera. I got my Mobius on the bill of my cap. Um, I've been using this recently for uh, the cap videos, but its microphone isn't very good. Uh, the Mobius is much better, so that's why it's, the Mobius is on my cap and 808's on the quadcopter today. Uh, let me center the camera. Turning the camera on. Camera is recording. Turn the transmitter on. Binding it to the quadcopter. And I'm going to start off at 40%, and away we go. And we'll take a walk over to the field. Now, in a previous video, I, I talked about the pylons in this field. Um, I was in error of their distance. I had paced it out, but then... Uh, Measuring on Google Maps, I guess the actual distance is about two-thirds of what I had estimated. So that pylon over there, um, what did I estimate it? I estimated it at 400, so two-thirds of 400 <laughs> feet. Yeah, let's go down to the other pylon. The other pylon I had paced out and estimated it at 500 feet, but it's actually two-thirds of that. I'll include the links or include text showing what the measured distances of these are on Google Maps. I'm going to fly around the pylon. I'm way out there right now. Boy, this WL Toys transmitter is very powerful. Well, not powerful, but it gives you good range. fly over the field 
go out to the desert a bit. See the graveyard of uh, crashed airplanes? <laughs> I'll fly back over again, coming back inboard. There's a graveyard of crashed airplanes right there. We should be flying over it now. <laughs> There's a little breeze right at that altitude there. I'm full forward pitch at 40% on this quadcopter right now. Now, with this transmitter, although you get this great range on it, it is not omnidirectional like the uh, stock transmitter. You have to pay attention to point this reflector at the quadcopter. Or else you'll get dropouts especially at this extreme range. Okay, I'm going to start climbing a bit now. Now, I'm not going to go above 400 feet, but I am going to go close to 400 feet. Applying a little more throttle. Going overhead. A little more throttle. And I'm going to enter into hover for a moment. Wow, there's a strong wind there. I'm going to go up wind of it. Okay, that's about 400 feet right there. I better be careful now. Cutting throttle a bit. Going into hover. And doing a rotate. Okay, it's pretty damn high. I better come down. <laughs> Going down by the pylon. So this WL Toys transmitter is working very well with this quadcopter today. Very well indeed. I have no idea which direction that thing's pointed. <laughs> you gotta learn when you're flying at great distances like this, you got to learn how to maintain orientation just by the quadcopter's movement alone. Now, off in the distance there, I notice this quadcopter is moving to the right. So to bring it back to me, all i got to do is turn to the right. Until the movement stops, and here it comes. I want to check that lights. I'm going to bring it overhead here. And the lights are steady. That's what I wanted to see. Let's go up to 60% and go a little faster now. Let's do some high speed passes by my position. From way upstream, let's go upwind a bit. Past the pylon. Okay, turning. Turning back to my position. Hello there. <laughs> Great transmitter, the WL Toys transmitter for range. Now, the reason I like this over the stock transmitter, the stock transmitter only has four batteries. WL Toys has six batteries. And I'm assuming that provides extra transmission power. That's why I want to use this again when I go up the coast with the quadcopter tomorrow. Let's go down to the very end of the field. 
and then bring it back in for a landing and that'll complete the flight and then I'm going to fly the uh, X5C I'll do a banking turn going back to 40 And bringing it in for a landing. Well, I wonder if that mount worked on this quadcopter. <laughs> Welcome back. Again, that was a flight with a WL Toys. W W L Toys. <laughs> Sorry for my Pittsburgh accent there. It's hard to say that. <laughs> V22 transmitter with um, this is a sebi docky uh, I actually did a real good documentation how to, how to modify this I'll include the link again below in the video info section so quite comfortable 101 signing out